Okay, this is uh, part two of my video and vlog segment on the release. And a lot of other things are going to be covered in part two and not just the release. So, I have my son's basketball here. He's, uh, he's 14 months old and he's tearing up the place. But this is the perfect thing to illustrate why release is the way it is and why other things don't work the way you think they work. Now, if I was going to take this ball and stand at this angle and toss the ball in a hole over there, I, here are some of the things that I would not do if I wanted to make a nice consistent toss. I wouldn't stand here like this and hold the ball out here like that. No, okay? I wouldn't stand up here like this either, okay? I wouldn't stand up here with rounded shoulders and a bent over back. If I was going to toss this ball over there, I would bend over and bend my knees so I was balanced and I would have the ball and my arms hanging straight down so I could make a nice free toss. Now, if I was going to make a swing and toss this ball over there, I would not extend my arms way out to increase the arc and get the ball further away from me. I would not keep my wrists unhinged. I would not lift it with my arms. I wouldn't, on my way to throwing it, hold this angle with my wrists. What I would do is, is I would let the natural rotation of my arms and shoulders happen, okay? Now, if I wouldn't do all of those nasty things that I just illustrated while tossing this ball into a hole, why would I do all of those nasty things with a golf club? So, I know you may, a lot of you may say this is an oversimplification, you're not tossing that ball for distance, but what I am doing is, is I want to toss this ball in the most efficient manner possible. And the most efficient manner possible is to keep the ball the same distance from my turn and release the ball, release the ball when both of my hands are pointed in that direction. So if you're coming into it like this, it's going to be hard to go from here to there and release the ball efficiently and in the proper direction. I would just swing and release the ball dead straight with my hands released. Release the ball, okay? The most efficient way to get from here to there, you can see my hands naturally rotate gradually like this. They don't go like this and like that. Let's discuss a few more things that I wouldn't do. If I was going to throw this ball at a hole directly out in front of me, I wouldn't whip my arms in here like this, would I? How am I going to get the ball going straight that way, okay? I wouldn't send my arms out away from my body in an inside-out motion, okay? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't take it back and then send my hands in this direction to toss it that way because that's the wrong direction. Again, if I don't want to do these things when I'm tossing a ball straight, I don't want to do these things when I have a golf club in my hand. So while on the drawing board and on a computer, you may be able to draw up some physical equations and say, well, if you do things this way, you're going to store more power. You're going to, you know, increase this angle, increase speed, improve launch angle. I'm not going to argue with mathematics. I understand mathematics. What I am talking about is you want the most efficient way possible to rotate your body to get to the same place every time. That is where you're going to get the greatest combination of solid hits, consistent hits, straight hits, and long hits. 
it might not provide the longest hit, but when you add up 50 or 100 of your drives, your average driving distance is gonna be longer because you're more consistent, more solid balls, more, more balls in the fairway. When you make that natural motion, which, picture the basketball in your hand, is here and a gradual release to there. So you can see my hands are pointing right at the hole or at the target. Whereas if you're coming in here and holding this angle or popping your hips and getting a little stuck, it's gonna be hard for me to get my hands and to release the ball from here to there.